Hello, and welcome to another training video for Enlight POS powered by Dart. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a customer quickly in the system. We're not going to go deep into all of the tabs and all of the sections of the customer information. We're just going to look at what you need to quickly start working with a customer. Later on in another video, we'll be doing a deep dive into all of the sections that make up the customer information section. To get started, we're going to click on the customer walk-in button. I'm going to enter my PIN. And then we're going to come over here to the new customer button on the top right. We're going to click that guy. And it drops us straight into the customer information section. Here we are on the general tab. As I mentioned before, we're not going to go into all the fields that are shown here or all the tabs that are shown across the top here. We're just going to go into what you need to start working with a customer. So in most stores, they usually require first name, last name, email, and phone number. By default, when you get your system, none of these fields will be required. When setting up your store, let the support team know what fields you need to have required for a customer to be created. In this example, we can see that the email field and the last name field are required fields, and you can tell because they have that tiny little red asterisk there. So the system will not let me create the customer without populating these fields. So you can see if I try to save an empty customer like this, I'm going to get all of the required fields. Let's jump in really fast. Um, we're going to create our customer here. We're going to give him a first name, last name, we're going to give him an email, and let's give him a phone number. Of course, if you needed to, you could add the address information. We're just going to skip that for now, and we're going to select the starch preference. We're going to say that Oliver Queen likes medium starch, and that he likes his items packaged in a box. Over here, a very important field on the right is the price level. This is the price level that's going to apply to this customer. Inside, we have the different price levels configured for the store. If this customer was a hotel customer, then we would apply the hotel price level. When we're creating invoices, the system will automatically pull the prices from the hotel price level. For now, and probably about 99% of the time, you're usually going to be working with uh, customers in your regular price level. So we're going to leave that price level there. And we're going to jump over to the details tab. Here in the details tab, you can enter both notes and warnings. The note is kind of standing orders from the customer. This will apply and print on all of their invoices and tickets. And it can be just special instructions that the customer has for their orders or the way that they want their, their clothes treated. So here we'll just enter a note. And then over here are the warnings. The warnings will never print on invoices or tickets, and they'll only show up inside the system. Warnings are internal to the store. So for example, if I wanted to write here, bad checks, this will pop up whenever the customer is searched, and we'll see that a little bit later. The customer will never actually see what's written in the warnings field. It never appears on any documents that are handed to the customer. Next, we're gonna hop over to the billing information section. In this section, I want to show you this master account portion over here. If we're adding a child account to another master, so say for example that Oliver Queen is a child account inside another master, we would come to this master account section, we'd set this to no, and then we'd specify the master account. So we could search for our master account, let's say he belongs to the Avengers. Now that's not correct, so we're not going to put him into this master account. So we're going to set him back to yes, but I do want to mention that the master account section will not show in your store by default. If you work with master accounts, just let your support team know and they will enable this section in your system. Finally, if you are working with an integrated payment processor, you can come down here to the new credit card section and we can add the information for Oliver Queen. Once all the information is added, we can save their credit card and now Oliver Queen's credit card will be saved on file. This will only work if you are integrated with a payment processor that allows storing credit cards. Once the card is added, the full credit card number will never be displayed anywhere in the system. Only the last four digits will be visible. The Enlight system itself does not store any credit cards. 
when the credit card information is added, like in the little window that we just saw, the information is sent directly to the payment processor. It never touches the Enlight servers. It's never stored in any of our Enlight servers. Everything is stored directly with the payment processor who provides us a token so that we can bill against this credit card. Okay, so we added all of Oliver's basic information, including the required fields that the system has. We added a note, we added a warning, and then we hopped over to the billing information section. We talked a little bit about master accounts, and then we added a credit card for Oliver. So with all these items added to the system, we're just gonna hit this save button. The system takes us directly into that customer so we can start working with him. And it shows us the notes that we added. So here is our warning for bad checks. This is the one that will never be printed on any documents that the customer receives. This is just an internal warning for us if there's something that we as operators at the store need to know about. And then over here is a standing note from the customer. This will be printed on all of the customer's tickets and all of their invoices so that it's visible to everyone who is touching the order. They will be able to see these special instructions. Once we acknowledge these notes and warnings, we can click OK. And now we're ready to start working with our customer, which will be the focus of our next video. So in this video, we covered a few basics on creating a customer. I hope this video was useful to you. I hope that you learned something new. For everyone here at Dart, thank you so much for your time and attention, and especially thank you for your business. I'll see you on the next video.